How and why did you decide to write an anti-Islamic book? How was your life in regards to faith? What did you believe in? What was your heaviest and most regretful expression that you used for Islam? What was the reaction of the people around you when you became Muslim? I thought to myself, Islam is a lie. Islam is a danger. I got over 2,000 death threats. And in the end, I decided to write an anti-Islam book. God, give me a sign so that I 100% sure know this is the way. I couldn't sleep for it for two days. I couldn't accept it. It was so, so strange. Assalamu alaikum, Brother Joram van Klaveren. Thank you for accepting our invitation and we are happy to have you with us. I want to first ask you, who is Joram? Wa alaikum salam, uh, Ahmed. <laughs> Thank you very much for the invitation. It's a great honor for me to be here. Joram van Klaveren was born on January 23 in 1979 in Amsterdam in a pretty regular family, father, mother, uh, brother, not a brother, younger, uh, sister, a cat in Amsterdam. I was born and raised there uh, in a, in a we're practicing Protestant family. After I finished high school, I studied comparative religion. I, I was a teacher for a few years. There have been a lot of things in the Netherlands, especially in my life. Also, when I look at the bigger picture when it came to Islam, I became politically active for the Freedom Party. I became a member of parliament. And in the end, I decided to write an anti-Islam book, which started as an anti-Islam book, changed into this search for God, and it ended up me becoming a Muslim. <laughs> How was your life in regards to faith? What did you believe in? Before I was a Muslim, I was a Protestant Christian from the Reformed Church. We read from the Bible, we all got biblical names, we were all baptized, uh, we went to church, etc., etc. So we're pretty yeah. Christian in that way, in that sense. Of course, I believe that there is a creator, I believed in heaven, hell, I believed in angels, revelations, and of course, what separates the Christians from the Muslims is that I believe that Jesus Christ was the Son of God. Yeah, in, in a more uh, philosophical way, I believed he was God himself, of course. I believed in the resurrection and crucifixion of Christ, of course, and I believed in the atonement. So, But because the Trinity is a very complex concept, whether you believe it or not, it's still very complex because if there is a God in the Bible, it says God is eternal. But if you are eternal and at the same, in the same, you die, you cannot be eternal and mortal at the same time. So that was something when I was a little older, 16, 17, I started questioning things like that. It's not very logical. I talked to many, many priests, preachers, even rabbis, and the answers I got weren't very satisfying. That made it, for me, kind of complex. And, and in the end, I had some doubts about this, stuff like this. But I said, well, I set it aside and I thought, okay, I just, I just believe it and perhaps I'm not smart enough to get the whole picture. And I still believed in uh, God. I still believed that Jesus was a very important person. I believed he was the son of God. But how it exactly was, I, I left it for what it was. How and why did you decide to write an anti-Islamic book? After high school, I went to a university and I did comparative religion. And the remarkable thing, I think, was that the first day of me going to college was uh, September 11, 2001. Already thought, okay, these Muslim guys are kind of crazy and this religion isn't the truth. Then a few years later was this guy in the Netherlands called Theo van Gogh, Theo van Gogh. He was a famous filmmaker and he was killed in the street. He was shot and they tried to slit his throat and they put a knife in his stomach with a letter on it for another girl, Ayan Hirshi Ali. And it was, it said, you are next. So it strengthened my anti-Islam feelings in such a way that I thought, well, I have to become politically active to do something and stop this evil of harming our country. You started politics because of Islam. Yeah, and that had really had to do with Islam. That was the reason that I wanted to write a book to explain to people why Islam was a danger for the world. When I was writing my book, like I said earlier, the questions, the doubts I had about Christianity popped up again. And that was about truth, of course, because I was a believing Christian guy. And yeah, the Christian questions I had in the end were answered in an Islamic way. Because, of course, when I started writing the book, a lot of people think that it was an, a political book. But it wasn't so much a political book. It was a religious religious book because I wanted to show people why Islam was a danger as a religion and I wrote it from a Christian perspective. So in the beginning I made a comparison between the Christian concept of God and the Islamic concept. So I start comparing it. But because I had these doubts about the Trinity and I saw Tawhid, eh, the oneness of God in Islam, I thought, yeah, it sounds a little bit more logical. And then I thought to myself, well, I reread the Bible to see, to refresh myself, to see, okay, why isn't the concept of Islam, the Tawhid concept, isn't 
isn't the Christian concept. But when I was reading the Old Testament and I saw what the Old Testament prophet said, it was one God, one God, one God. And then I thought, okay, I'll look only at the words of Jesus Christ in the New Testament. And then there's this story in the New Testament that where a guy comes to Jesus and he asks him, what is the most important thing? in life. How can I gain paradise? And he says there are two things. He says, here, O Israel, here your God is one. Treat your neighbor as you want to be treated yourself. So I thought, well, even Jesus Christ says, here, O Israel, your God is one. So I thought, well, this whole Muslim concept of God sounds more logical. And it's the same concept that I find in the Old and the New Testament. And I know Christianity as a religion teaches something else, but it isn't the concept of God that I find in the Bible. So after weeks and weeks of study, reading, rereading all kinds of books, I thought to myself, okay, perhaps this oneness of God is something that is true. So that's how it started.